They grounded all flights nationwide. It only lasted for an hour, but Southwest's decision has caused a domino effect. The result, nearly half of the airline's flights delayed. WMER 2 News at Janae Wright is at BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport, one of Southwest's big hubs. She spoke with a few people flying Southwest today. I can't imagine they were happy, Janae. Kelly, they were definitely not happy. Now, earlier, the FAA grounded all Southwest flights, and this simply reminded people of what happened, the disaster that happened back in December. Now, after this latest incident, it has a lot of people losing trust in flying with the company. Southwest Airlines requested that the Federal Aviation Administration ground all flights all across the United States. Even though the grounding was lifted only a few hours later, many people flying still felt the effects. So we're delayed about yes. maybe an hour and a half. So, I mean, it kind of ruins plans for the first night of vacation. And, right. But, you know, it is what it is. The main concern customers have is they were not told the full reason for their delays. I haven't heard any explanation for really what it is. I assume it's the same problem that they had in December. Southwest issued a statement later on that says, quote, Southwest has resumed operations after temporarily pausing flight activity this morning to work through data connection issues resulting from a firewall failure. Early this morning, a vendor supplied firewall went down and connection to some operational data was unexpectedly lost. Southwest teams worked quickly to minimize flight disruptions. It makes me nervous to fly Southwest again, especially if I needed to be somewhere on time. People are concerned about yet another technical issue, remembering the massive cancellations back in December of 2022. It's pretty scary, and I understand what happened at Christmas. Um, and hopefully Southwest has been making the changes they need to make. I have flown Southwest for years. I fly it to California all the time, and I love Southwest. If this keeps happening, I would think it would really... Um, you know, be a problem for them. Sarah Kane says having her flight delayed in this way makes her concerned about the company. Loss of faith in a company, so, you know, they can always reimburse or give you kudos or what, not kudos, but, um, like, uh, yeah, vouchers and stuff like that, but, you know, you lose faith in a company that does certain things like that, so it makes me a little nervous to fly Southwest again. Others say they still plan to continue trusting the airline. I'm a loyal Southwest customer. Now, this airport was only slightly affected by the delays, some of the delays even lasting up to a couple of hours. Now, despite this being yet again a technical issue, there have been no reports of any cancellations or stranded passengers. Live at BWI Airport, Janae Wright, WMAR 2 News.